I am super excited for Elbath, and I think it's going to be one of the best, if not the best, arc of One Piece. So Egghead Island is in its final stages of this arc, and as we wrap up, we are already setting up for an amazing time in Elbath. With the latest chapters, we have seen that the Elbath giants have come to save Luffy and the gang, and we got reintroduced to Dory and Brogy, who we haven't seen in almost 20 years. And I know technically we're not in Elbath yet, but this is going to be one of my favorite moments of Elbath's arc is to see Dory and Brogy reunite with the Straw Hats. And I want to see every interaction. I want to see Luffy. I want to see Sanji, Zoro. And then also the biggest one I want to see is them reuniting with Usopp. Usopp is already so pumped that Dory and Brogy are back and he is already calling them his masters and wants to see them so bad. And I think that interaction would be super funny and super wholesome. I, I just think that's one of the best moments of Elbath and the end of Egghead Island. I'm also super interested to see if Luffy will meet Shanks again. Like, I honestly think that this is the time to meet Luffy. If not now, it would be when Luffy becomes Pirate King. Because technically, Luffy is an emperor right now, and Shanks said, I'll only meet Luffy again when he becomes a great pirate. And I don't really think there's much more he can do besides becoming an emperor to be considered a great pirate. I mean, Luffy's already that guy. He, you know, he stopped Kizaru and St. J. Garcia with, you know, by himself. Insanity. And I want to see if Luffy will give back the straw hat to Shanks at Elbath, and will, for the rest of the series, will Luffy just be without his hat? Because... He said, hey, give me the hat back when you become a great pirate. Technically, he's a great pirate. He's an amazing pirate as he is an emperor of the sea. So it makes sense that Luffy gives Shanks his hat back and maybe Shanks rocks it for the rest of the series. And I can also see Shanks and his crew have departed Elbath and have gone to find the One Piece on their own. And Luffy and the crew just get to meet some of the giants like Dory and Brogy and gets their own kind of training arc in Elbath before they go to the final war. I think that's also a good point to leave off of because Shanks meeting Luffy is been kind of like one of the essential goals for like the whole series of one piece so to save it to for the end i wouldn't blame oda to do that and in chapter 1108 they have literally been teasing the return of jaguar d saul and how he might be at elbath and this would be an amazing reunion for robin because she has no family in this world besides the straw hats and reuniting with jaguar is the only memory of ohara she has left i also see this as being the last kind of training arc before we get into the final war i can see the crew posting up at elbath training with the giants especially usopp nami chopper robin frankie and brooke like the weakest members of the crew need to learn hockey at some point and if they didn't learn it during the time skip then i think elbath is the perfect spot for them to learn it they have very strong pirates the red-haired pirates as well as giants that can train most of the straw hats and at least polish them up before they go into the final war i also want to mention how jaguar d saul has been kind of rumored to be the man with scars so it could make sense that he is the guy who has been guarding the last road poneglyph so once the straw hats get this then they're able to access the one piece and go after it um the only confrontation there is shanks is also looking for the one piece so not sure if um shanks will be willing to share the road poneglyph with luffy and them but i think it would be a great spot for everyone to like learn more about the poneglyphs and learn exactly where raftel is there is also so much history in elbath and i'm looking for a big lore drop and maybe this lore drop ties into the void century and how the giants were eliminated from history the giants were kind of taken out during the void century we have no idea how um and they've been relegated to like one small country called elbath so i want to see the history of how that all came to be and i feel like this arc will show it and will be kind of like another bomb drop like when we got god valley i really hope that this arc just shows what happened in the void century because robin's been reading these poneglyphs for the last like 20 years and every poneglyph just shows either the way to raftel or some information about the void century and and I can see the final pieces of the Poneglyphs being in Elbath. But this arc, I'm already expecting to be top three in the whole series of One Piece. I think there's so much to learn in this arc. And if Luffy gets to meet Shanks and we get that conclusion, I think it will be amazing. And honestly, I think it would be a really cool character development for Luffy to go the rest of the series without his iconic straw hat. Because he gave that identity back to Shanks and now he is taking on his own persona and becoming Joy Boy or whatever that means. I don't think he needs Shanks' hat anymore. Um, I think Luffy can become his own man because he's been kind of riding off the coattails of Shanks because Shanks was donning the straw hat 
for the longest time and was known as red hair shanks with the straw hat and then luffy took over that persona for a while and now i think it's time for him to give it back to shanks and for luffy to adopt either joy boy or pirate king as his new persona anyways guys thank you so much for watching and let me know do you guys think that everything i said is going to happen in this arc or is there something else that i'm missing that is going to happen here in elba and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later